Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Riyadh Riyadh Arts and Entertainment. I'm your host, Karen Page, and with me is Kenya Capers. Kenya was nominated for the Best Actor Award for his play, Clash and Learn, in the Strawberry One Act Festival. Kenya, welcome. Congratulations. Thank you very much. We're glad to have you here with us. So, the Best Actor nomination. Who is your character in Clash and Learn? Well, my character is a gentleman named Chad James. He's a journalist and he also works at an AIDS outreach center in Hong Kong, New York. And um, he's a young man who's uh, pretty much struggling with you know, acknowledging that you know, he's a black man, but also acknowledging that he's homosexual and the things that the black community have against homosexuality. Okay. Now this is one of the ones that I saw and it was very riddled with things that made me think or really made me think, and you did a really great job. Thank you. So, um, did you draw on any of your own life experiences to get into this character? You really did a good job with it. Well, yes, I definitely did. Growing up as a child in my household, I was always taught, well, my mother always told me that no matter what sexuality I chose, she will always love me. I always grew up you know, believing in not to judge people. So judgment against homosexuals or just bigotry, period, against anyone, is a very deep core issue with me. So when I approached it, I approached it as this bigotry and hatred it needs to stop, period. Be it with homosexuality, be it with racism, be it with sexism, it just needs to stop. Right. And you all will also made the point, the whole kind of nature versus nature, nature versus nurture thing, where, you know, um, the, in part of the play, you know, you talk about how, why would somebody choose this, as difficult as it is, you know, why would somebody choose to be hated? Exactly. You know, and, and you, you really came home with that. And so, yeah, I think people should, but like you said again, regardless of whether it's a choice or not, a choice is not the question. The, the point is, is that we don't need to be hating. We don't need to be hating on anybody or anything. Don't hate. Don't hate. <laughs> So how was your experience with the festival? Oh, the, the festival was excellent. I mean, it gave me as a new actor the opportunity to experience having to go to work and be in costume within like hours of just leaving work and go home, get up, just the hustle and bustle of what the actual craft is, you know, the discipline that comes with it. And definitely with the festival, I got the opportunity to experience that. And even though it was a little rough, it shows me that, you know, this is what I want to do. Like, it just fueled my fire. And you all got a notification, I mean, like, that you were going into the finals. Like, you had to snap into action very quickly. <laughs> That's actually a very interesting story. <laughs> On the day that we found out about the finals, I was at Central Park waiting to get free tickets to see the public. Uh, Harris currently playing. And I was at Central Park, and I got the call, and I had to leave everything I was doing, go home, grab my bag, and just head back to town. <laughs> but, you know, we went there, we had a great performance. I wouldn't give you up for the world. Excellent, excellent. Well, is there anything else coming up for you that you'd like to look out for? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, right now, nothing of that nature. I mean, just please wish me luck. I'm up for an opportunity for an internship with the Alabama Shakespearean Festival, where I have to go to Alabama for some time and interact with a lot of master classes and just take my, oh, my skills up to the next level. So I wish please you keep me in your prayers that. with that. Other than that, it's just that I'm currently studying. I study at MTV Studios under Mary Boyer, and it's going to give her a big shout because without her, I wouldn't have made it this far. It's my family, to my director, to my uh, fellow co star, Nick. That's pretty much it. It was a great experience. Well, there's opportunities abounding, and you're taking advantage of them. We see big things in the future. Oh, definitely, okay. I should say. And the nearest future is going to be at the Strawberry One Act Festival award ceremony and performance this Saturday night, that's August 9th, at 8 p.m. at the Leonard Nimoy Valley Theater at Symphony Space. We're going to find out whether this Best Actor nominee walks away with the prize. Whether he does or not, he's done a great job. Ladies and gentlemen, clash and learn. <laughs> 